an open letter to Shonda Rhimes that involves basically like the five stages of grief. There's anger, denial, acceptance, strong shot of alcohol. And I think that's a pretty cool instruction manual for how to watch your favorite Shonda shows if you want to survive, to be honest. Hi, my name is Rego John Page and I'm starring in Shonda Rhimes new Netflix series Bridgerton. So Esquire asked me to explain all things Shondaland, all 200 million, 575,000 minutes of it. So we'll see how that goes, but we're in it together. Hopefully it'll be fun. Number one rule of Shondaland is no one is allowed to be happy for more than five minutes. That is true basically. <laughs> but when, so when folks in the online universe are happy, they are really happy, great stuff has happened. When they're sad, the entire building has been blown up and all of their family have died. Like, it's karma on a crazy level. True statement. What's the craziest twist in the Shonda Rhimes show? <laughs> I mean, you're spoiled for choice. But if I had to pick one, I would go classic. End of season one of Grey's Anatomy, Meredith and the Dreamy are having a touching moment. They've been will they won't they for an entire season. It all looks like it's gonna work out. And suddenly a stranger walks out from behind him and it's the wife that he didn't say a word about for what, like 20 episodes? And she's like, hi, I'm Mrs. Shepard. You must be the woman who's sleeping with my husband. Boom, mic drop, end of season. Come back for more season two. Next slide. Raise your hand if you've been personally victimized by Shonda Rhimes. <laughs> Um, so this is a meme that basically uh, talks about the way that Shonda shows get right to the heart of the human experience, but in a very visceral and massively overblown way with lots of death. Um, so it's an emotionally tumultuous ride and it will hit you personally. I hope the person responsible for picking the music at Shondland gets a raise, the blessings of Jesus, and someone's firstborn child give them everything. Plus one. I sign off on this. I endorse this message. The needle drops in Shondland shows are epic. We all come here to have fun, and whoever is DJing these shows deserves every raise and blessing that they have coming to them. Child is failing. Like it or not, you need her. And you, even your mom. The great Ellis Gray made a mistake. Can you explain this iconic moment of Christina drinking from her glove? Uh, I will try. I think this is in Grey's when Christina and Meredith have been getting drunk all day long, thoroughly sozzled at this point. Meredith's getting into it with Bailey and Christina's just there for the drama. She's standing in the background just enjoying the mess. Let it be known, if there's a scandal, I shall uncover it. All my life problems, and on a plaster trailer de Bridgerton. I remember this tweet. So this is from one of the many already existing fans of Bridgerton. Well, the show's even out because it's based on this book series. And so we have huge amounts of fans, lots based in Brazil. And this was sent on November 2nd. It was a very emotionally charged day. It was the day before a certain election and we all needed a bit of cheering up. And that's the day we dropped the Bridgerton trailer. Warmth, happiness, romance, and it worked, it helped. Do people enjoy working under Shonda Rhimes? This is my second Shonda show, so all signs point to yes. Leonard talking on the phone when he is on the lock screen. So Leonard is my character in my last Shondaland show for the people, um, and he's talking on a very important legal phone call. Clearly the lock screen is up. Gonna let you on a little secret. I have no control over that phone. There's like a props person behind that door controlling everything that comes up on that screen. So I'm gonna shift all the responsibility over to props guy Steve. Names have been changed to protect the innocent. There is no props guy, Steve, but there is a props guy control in that phone. 2020 is a shit show, but at least Julie Andrews is our period gossip girl. <laughs> yeah, I'll take that as my comfort for the year. Julie Andrews' crisp, razor sharp consonants cutting me down at every opportunity and spilling every secret in the 19th century as the narrator of Bridgerton. I'll take it all day long. And that is our final slide. Thank you very much for watching. That was Esquire asking me, Reggae John Page, to explain Shondland to you. I'm not sure how successful I was, but it was kind of fun. Thank you for watching.